Hi! In this video, I wanted to do a little flip through of reading games with Ziggy Zebra. And this is with the All About Reading program. If you ever did pre reading, you would know about Ziggy the Zebra puppet, which I have right here. And he was a wonderful addition to the pre-reading program that is offered by All About Reading. And when we stepped into level one, that was something that we weren't ready to give up yet with Ziggy. And All About Reading has this additional program that you can purchase to go along with level one. And it follows along with Ziggy a little bit. And... It has different games that you can use with level one that include Ziggy. It is not necessary that you have the puppet because within this little book, it has a little picture of him where you can make a folder. And so this meets Ziggy. If you haven't ever had him before, you can welcome him into your family by folder. And this is a program that correlates with the level one and so we have meet Ziggy, a map of Ziggy's travels, and then it tells you how to make the file folder games. And so within here, there were a bunch of lessons. We have lessons oh, right here it, where it's showing you the correlation with level one. So it says at the beginning of lesson one, you could play the apples with Ziggy. After lesson two, Ziggy at the market. Lesson three, Ziggy at the beach. Lesson four, treasure hunt with Ziggy. And then you keep going. And then after you complete lesson 50, you will do blast off with Ziggy. And this is the purpose of each of those games. And so we would have the Ziggy Zebra folder that we could put together. I didn't actually do that because we did have Ziggy, but I did make the rest of these file folders. And as you can see right here, it gives you the instructions on how to make those folders. Right here was the very first one, and it is a map of Ziggy's travels. And we have Ziggy on the front, and it's where in the world is Ziggy. Look on the map to find out. And each game will cover the map. And so you just take a folder and you put this on the cover, you paste these on the insides, and then you have your little map of everywhere that you're gonna cover with Ziggy during this game. The very first game is called Apples for Ziggy. And the purpose is to identify vowels and consonants. And so it even tells you right here, so if you lose your book, it gives you instructions of when to play. You open up your Where in the World is Ziggy, and then Ziggy is counting on you to help him find the best apples in the orchard. Look on the map. Can you find the apples by Washington? And so you would open up your map. You would find the apples by Washington. And so you can lump this into a quick little geography lesson also. Pull up maybe a more detailed map of where Washington would be. And then you make this like a flap. And so I just took the tape and I taped it all the way around and I left a pocket here and in the pocket is where I keep the instructions for game one and I have a little ziplock bag with the little pieces in it. Not every piece, not every game will have pieces but I just fold the instructions and that way I know every time that I take it out exactly what to do. They even have an example here for a shorter game, Don't Replenish the Apples. So if you just want to do a quick little practice run, you don't want to make it a huge game you just put that in there and so here's the beginning and you would put those little apples all over the child would pull out the apples game number two was caving with ziggy we played this one a lot i don't know that this is game number two actually um i don't think that i have them in order because we've played them so much and so the purpose of this one is to practice your word cards and or your phonogram cards. And so this is where you wouldn't necessarily have another puzzle piece. You would use your phonogram cards. And it looks like I forgot to bring those down. One minute. Okay, for this game, you're gonna use the cards that come with the program. So you're gonna use either your yellow phonogram cards or you're gonna use your green um, word cards. 
So it says, says you're going to take out the Ziggy Zebra Puppet and you'll put it on. And then it tells you the words that you can say. Set this out like this. And you have a backpack that comes with this one. And these are the things that you'll pick up along the way. And so you have your flashlights and you have your bats. And the instructions tell you what to do. And so this is just really fun. You pick up, pick up a bat, put them in your... Um, there's a flashlight on the end, you'll flip it over. Will it be a bat or will it be a different character or item? And so it would be things that he needs in his pack. <laughs> I can't seem to find anything but a bat. There we go. Gloves, um, a camera, a bandage. I know there's a water in here, some boots. And so these are items that Ziggy picks up along the way to make sure that he can get out of the cave safely. I'll just do a quick flip through of the rest of the games here. And so there was Ziggy at the market. And this is where you're going to identify phonograms. And you don't have to necessarily do this either. Once you get later on and you have more words and you don't want to maybe practice the phonograms, most of these games could be used with the word pieces or the phonograms. And so here I just made the little folder. I made these all at the beginning so that when it came time, I would have these. This is a game we played a lot. And this is where Ziggy teaches school. And so a lot of times I would have her teaching the sheep and Ziggy because sometimes Ziggy can't get all the answers right. And so here we're actually visiting New Zealand. And this one is you're practicing blending. Again, if you really enjoy the game, you can take any of these ideas and put them into one of them. Right here, this was uh, after lesson three and you're visiting the Caribbean islands and you're gonna have to unlock this. And this is where you're practicing with, um, you must have a vowel, at least one vowel. And so when you unlock it, you're gonna have to have a key with at least one blue, one red and the blue and the red represents the consonants and the vowels that follow along with the tiles that you would be using. We have Ziggy at the beach. We're going to be practicing our word cards with this one. We're in Cape Town, South Africa and you do different steps and you're going down the bridge and then we would run back and we would do it again. Another one that we played many times is Ziggy Roundup Horses. And this is to practice word cards and or phonogram cards. And Ziggy loves visiting his friends and his family. And so we look on the map, we find Ziggy, and we see that we've got to catch all the horses. And so the game pieces for this one, we have all the horses. And we would flip them over. And then if we were able to read the card, we got to keep the horse. We got to keep it safe. If we weren't able to read it, we just flipped it back over and added it to the pile to play again. Then we've got, this is one of the games that we play towards the end of the program. This is lesson 44, where we're practicing the phonogram cards. And he's went to Antarctica with this one. And so we have different penguins that we would be playing with on this one. So each one, I've just built the pockets in. The game pieces are inside. I put the game pieces inside the clear baggy so that I do not lose them. And then the very last game was Blast Off Ziggy. And this is to practice counting syllables. And so he's went to outer space. We have the start and you have all of the programs in here. So this is a great addition if your child really enjoyed Ziggy with pre-reading or if your child just enjoys this sort of interaction. It's a really fun way to practice the reading. And I can't remember how much this was, but it is on the All About Reading. And honestly, I have a feeling that we could probably use this for um, level two also if we just need a Ziggy day sometimes because she did uh, get quite fond of Ziggy through pre-reading. So again, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.